Here we have the Murtisol Air Rower. Similar to the Concept 2, only a few differences. And we're going to go over that and what we think of this rower. But before we do, if you consider subscribing or hitting that like button, it would be appreciated. So I've used the Concept 2 at several gyms. It is definitely the gold standard of rowers. And I will say it is a great machine. It has a great computer. It works great. works smooth. Um, never had an issue with any of them. But the problem is if you're looking to invest in one for a home gym, garage gym to work out on your own, getting one you're going to be on a wait list for quite some time as well as it costs more money. Retails for $900 after tax and sh shipping, you're going to be talking $1,000 and that's for the D which is the lower end one. Um, where this, I want to say I spent $700 on it or $720 with tax and shipping and it came quick. I uh, was able to place the order and received it, I think, just over two weeks. It estimated, I think it was like four to six, and I got it within just over two. So that was a plus, and I've had it for about nine months, put, a, I would say, at least 100,000 kilometers on it. So overall, working great, and I can't complain. So comes in a large box. If you're a smaller person or on the weaker side, I would suggest having maybe a teammate to help you move it. It's not heavy, but it is large, so comes in four pieces. Comes with the seat rail here, seat attached. The section that says Murtisol up to the fan, and then the computer is laid down all attached. And then that bottom V and the crossbar are two separate pieces. I think there's like eight screws you have to attach. You screw the V to the crossbar, and then screw that V underneath where the fan is. And then these two pieces attached, there's a large metal like bolt that just sits in a groove. If I lifted this up and pulled from underneath, it would separate. So assembly took me, I'm gonna say a total of five minutes once I got out of the box and got the plastic, you know, and the styrofoam protection rough off of it. Came quick, came easy, so can't complain there. So with this, obviously you have your guide rail. I haven't had to oil or grease it at all. Runs smooth. Uh, I could see if you want to do that to make things a little easier on yourself, uh, maybe last a little longer. I haven't had a problem there so far. You got your seat. It does have some cushion to it, but like all rower seats, they get uncomfortable after a while. Your butt does start to hurt. I did do a half marathon row on this earlier today. Again, my butt was sore, but after an hour and 30 plus minutes of rowing, it is kind of expected when you're just sitting on your both your seat bones. So you have your two um, foot straps here, heel comes up so you're not locked in, giving you a good, you come forward and as you push back you can drive the heel in but you're not locked in there. Easy adjustment here on the foot um, length, so I have a larger foot so I keep it at the full length on the number six. I have it set to four just to show that it slides up. Again, strap here, goes across your foot, give it a tug, locks it down. Um, I've never had a rower that doesn't slowly come loose on this. So as this comes loose, you just tug that little side strap. It takes a second and you're locked back in. If you're doing like a two to three thousand row, you're fine. But after about that three thousand, you're come a little loose. And then every three to five thousand after that, you're going to keep giving that little tug. Your pull bar here, again, just like the Concept 2, has that neoprene type rubber on both sides. Um, does start to wear the hands a little bit. I end up wearing gloves, just give myself a little bit of protection to save from blisters. And it even has, you know, the hand holes here. So if you wanted to go one handed, you could. Locks in, metal chain. Underneath here is actually open. So you can see how it works and how everything connected underneath, which I think is kind of fun. Rolls into here. You got your fan and your adjustments. One through 10, your easy slide to open or close the fan so you get more or less air there. Biggest difference between this rower and a Concept 2 is going to be right here, the computer screen. So if you're a person who needs that extra all the extras and you're a big tech person where you need the bells and whistles, I would recommend going for the Concept 2 and waiting. This is very basic. It doesn't have all the fun features and it's definitely more on the low end, real basic, minimal. So your intervals, both of these will work if you want to use those for kind of hit workouts where you want to either go high intensity for shorter periods or longer periods with the rest. 
hit the recovery, gives you, depending on how long your workout was, how long you should kind of calm down. So you have your Bluetooth. I have yet to be able to connect anything to it. Uh, I've tried my smartwatch, it won't find it. So I don't know if mine's just defective or what not there, but again, I don't think I'd really use it anyway. Total resets after a real good workout. Reset your stats during a workout if you wanted to do kind of just 1,000 repeats or 5,000 repeats or 500 repeats. Mode will give you that stopping ability. Otherwise, the clock just keeps running. And then I honestly don't know what the up button does. I haven't seen it do anything yet. Um, once you start rolling, if you don't hit this to start that and then hit it again, it goes back to the you know clock running. If you don't, it doesn't register any stroke rate. I think it's four minutes. It ends up turning itself off. There's no on or off switch on this. You just have to let it sit. So I'm gonna let this go so it will eventually turn itself off. The other difference that I've noticed between this and a Concept 2 is when I am rowing. I would say when I use a Concept 2, I can usually sit around a minute 52 to about two minutes pretty comfortably for 500 splits. On this, I seem to sit around like a 204 to 208 um, at that same intensity. So I don't know which ones, if the Concept 2 makes it seem easier so you feel like you're doing more, or if this is harder um, just because of the lack of tech put into the computer. But again, I'm using this for a workout. I'm not a professional rower, as I don't think most people are. So I think what I get for what I paid, the workouts I've gotten out of it, it's an excellent choice. So if you're looking to get a, I don't say knockoff, but no name brand air rower, I would recommend this. I think the air rower is your best option unless you do live in like an apartment where you have neighbors right through the wall because they are a little bit on the louder side. But again, I can do this at night while my son's sleeping upstairs and never woken him up. Um, but again, if you have floors, it's going to be noisy and you don't want to bother your neighbors. Water rowers, I mean, as great as they are, you do have to add water to increase resistance. So you're kind of stuck at that one resistance where this I can do slowly decreasing or increasing the intensity throughout the workout. And then the magnetic rowers, I just feel like most of their setups put the motor right at about or right behind the foot plates. So you can't get that full range of motion. So if my foot's here, and I, if you stop here, you don't get that where you can tuck in and reach forward and you don't get that full range of motion and most of them it seems like. So I wouldn't recommend those as much. So for an air rower, I would definitely say one of these knockoff brands, the Mertasol, I can attest for being great except for the computer part. But again, you're doing it for working out unless you're trying to become a professional rower. This is a great option. Hope you enjoyed the video.